percent face off percentage. He has tallied over 15 face off wins, a total of 15 times, including a career high 23 wins at Southern New Hampshire this season. He currently ranks 15 in the nation in face off winning percentage and 43rd in balls per game. He is joined on the field by his parents, John and Marginet, and his siblings, John and Caroline. Graduating with a degree in finance, he is number 13, Justin English. Our next senior has been a three-year member of the Maroon and White. In his time with the Lions, this defenseman has appeared in 14 contests and has scooped up seven ground balls while forcing six turnovers. As a junior, he forced a career-high two turnovers against Felician while scooping up a career-high two ground balls against Georgian Court. This year, he has appeared in four contests, causing a turnover against Mercy College while adding a ground ball against Dominican. He is joined on the field by his parents, Lori and Joseph, his brother, and his two sisters. Graduating with a degree in mathematics, he is number five, Brody Nuzzi. Next, the senior has been a four-year member of the Lions as a face-off specialist. He made his collegiate debut at Belmont Abbey, winning his first career face-off later next season, going two for two against both. On his career, he is averaging a 42.1 face-off percentage, including a career best 7 of 11 against Robert Wesley in last season. He has appeared in three games to date this season, picking off wins against nationally ranked Stephen Hill. He is joined on the field by his parents, Deborah and Joe, his brothers, Matt and Joseph, and his girlfriend, Christina. Graduating with a degree in nursing, he is number 41, Anthony Lucido.
Parnock, senior, has been a four-year starter for the Lions, appearing in all but one contest in his time with the team. As a freshman, he recorded 38 ground balls and forced eight turnovers before forcing a career-best 37 turnovers the following season. He scored his first career goals in back-to-back -back contests against Stack and NYIT. As a junior, he picked up a career-high 65 ground balls while adding 27 caused turnovers. This past season, he has added 27 more, ranking first all-time in caused turnovers at Malloy. In addition, he also ranks first in caused turnovers per game and seventh all-time in ground balls. He is joined on the field by his parents, Mike and Mary, and his sister, Tara. Graduating with a degree in education, he is number 19, Mike Durkin. Our final senior is also a four-year member of the Maroon and White, appearing in 56 contests as a Lion. He tallied his first career goals against Georgian Court, scoring on two shots. As a sophomore, he added nine points to go with 11 ground balls and eight caused turnovers before a breakout 38-point season as a junior, where he tallied 20 goals with eight assists. This season, he has netted 17 goals while dishing out 12 assists for 29 points. He has recorded five career hat tricks, including doing so in back-to-back -back games this season, both overtime victories. On his career, he has netted 43 goals and 37 assists for 80 points, while picking up 67 ground balls and forcing 21 turnovers. He is joined on the field by his parents, Marion and Peter, his sister-in-law, Stephanie, and his girlfriend, Heather. Graduating with a degree in education, he is number 40, Michael Scherer. for the men's lacrosse graduating class of 2019. Seven minutes, some, seven something left. Okay. Are you busy? You're working. 2.55? Yo, is that what he wants?
the home for Malloy College Athletics, www.malloylions.com. At Life Planning Group, we make financial planning as convenient as a trip to the store. We're not tucked away in a sprawling city. We're right here in the heart of your community. With offices in both Nassau and Suffolk, our team of advisors are driven to strengthen our local community and the financial lives of all of our clients within it. Whether you are an individual investor, a family, or a business owner, we will walk beside you through all stages of your life's journey. Life Planning Group. Trusted. Experienced. Local. Jake's Steakhouse is a proud sponsor of Malloy Athletics. Come down to Jake's for happy hour every Monday through Friday from 3 to 7 p.m. and Sundays from 12 to 7 p.m. $4 mixed drinks, $5 select house wines by the glass, $4 select domestic beer, and $5 select craft beers. Looking for some delicious food? Jake's Sunset Special features a price-fixed menu Sunday through Thursday from 4 to 6 p.m., three courses for just $24.95. Friday night at Jake's is Prime Rib Night, a delicious 26-ounce prime rib with popover, mashed potatoes, and dessert, all for just $49. Can't get enough? Well, Jake's does brunch, too. Sunday mornings receive free hot cereal and coffee or tea with any entree, plus bottomless Bloody Marys and mimosas for $10. And don't forget, you get 10% off at Jake's Monday through Saturday with a Lion's Land card. Jake's Steakhouse, 2172 Hempstead Turnpike in East Me Casey's Kitchen and Cocktails is a proud sponsor of Malloy Athletics. Casey's is open seven days a week for dinner with plenty of salads, sandwiches, and entrees to choose from. Casey's is also open for lunch Thursday through Sunday and for Sunday brunch. On the go, takeout is available, plus on-site and off-premise catering to suit all of your catering needs. And now through October, Casey's Rooftop Bar, Rooftop 32, is open for dining. Plus, you can receive a 10% discount with a Lion's Land card. All at Casey's Kitchen and Cocktails, 23 North Park Avenue in Rockville Center. Digital Graphic Imagery is a proud sponsor of Malloy College Athletics. For all of your printing and graphic design needs, visit www.dgic.us or call them at 516-277-9557. That's Digital Graphic Imagery, home for all of your printing and design needs. What's the lowdown on Malloy College Athletics? Watch the Lions Lowdown. Hear from your favorite coaches and student athletes of the Malloy College Lions. Watch on MalloyLions.com or follow our YouTube channel, Malloy Lions. Mercy Medical Center are the proud medical providers of Malloy College Athletics. They are committed to serving the community with state-of-the-art compassionate health care. You can reach them at 516-62-MERCY or on the web at www.mercymedicalcenter.chsli.org. MalloyLions.com is your official online home for Malloy College Athletics. Game recaps, highlights, stats, exclusive, exclusive stories, stories and interviews, and much, much more. All on your online home for Malloy College Athletics, www.malloylions.com. Novak Motors is home to quality, one owner off lease vehicles. High class automobiles go through a 58 multi point inspection process, own a clean Carfax report, and have low mileage. Haggle free trade in and finance options ensure you always get the best deal. Located in our 70,000 square foot indoor facility off of Route 110 in Farmingdale, or check out the inventory at NovakMotorsNY.com. Novak Motors, we make car buying simple, straightforward, and enjoyable. MalloyLions.com is your official broadcast home for Malloy College Athletics. Hear all the exciting action of every Malloy Lions game live right here on MalloyLions.com. Remember, your home for Malloy College Athletics is www.MalloyLions.com. Digital Graphic Imagery is proud to sponsor Malloy College Athletics. For all of your printing and graphic design needs, 
visit our website at www.dgic.us. Call us at 516-277-9557. DGI is located at 400 Post Avenue, Suite 105, Westbury, New York, right off of exit 32 of the Northern State Parkway. Contact Digital Graphic Imagery for all of your printing and design needs. Jake's Steakhouse is a proud sponsor of Malloy Athletics. Come down to Jake's Monday through Friday from 3 to 7 p.m. and Sundays from 12 to 7 p.m. for happy hour. $4 mixed drinks, $5 select house wines by the glass, $4 select domestic beer, and $5 select craft beers. Plus, Lions Land card owners will receive a special 10% discount. Spend your next happy hour with Jake's 2172 Hempstead Turnpike in East Meadow. Casey's Kitchen Cocktails is a proud sponsor of Malloy Athletics. Looking for food around campus? Casey's is open seven days a week for dinner with plenty of salads, sandwiches, and entrees to choose from. Casey's is also open for lunch Thursday through Sunday and for Sunday brunch. On the go, takeout is available, plus on-site and off-premise catering to suit all your catering needs. All at Casey's Kitchen and Cocktails, 23 North Park Avenue in Rockville Center. The Schwartz Institute for Physical Therapy and Performance is a proud sponsor of Molloy Athletics. The Schwartz Institute for Physical Therapy and Performance is a full-service sports injury center for rehabilitation, strength and conditioning, and sports enhancement training. The Schwartz Institute has 17 years of experience with athletes. Call 516-798-9605 for more information. What's the lowdown on Malloy College Athletics? Watch the Lions Lowdown. Hear from your favorite coaches and student athletes of the Malloy College Lions. Watch on MalloyLions.com or follow our YouTube channel, Malloy Lions. Mercy Medical Center are the proud medical providers of Malloy College Athletics. They are committed to serving the community with state-of-the-art compassionate health care. You can reach them at 516-62-MERCY or on the web at www.mercymedicalcenter.chsli.org. And a good Saturday afternoon, lacrosse fans, and welcome to this coverage of ECC Men's Lacrosse right here on the ECC Network. Tom Verde here with you live from John A. Darcy Field in Rockville Center as the Malloy Lions will welcome in the visiting University of District of Columbia Firebirds here for this ECC regular season closer. <coughs> Malloy in the home whites, UDC in the road maroons. So we're just about set to get underway for the opening faceoff here. Temperatures a bit brisk for this time of year in about the 50s with a bit of a breeze. Malloy will go right to left across your screen here in the opening quarter. UDC will go left to right as we'll start at the faceoff X. It'll be Justin English in there for Malloy and Matt Hidalgo, the freshman out of Silver Spring, Maryland, in there for the Firebirds. Underway in English. Pops it free and scoops up the ground ball, so the opening faceoff of the game is controlled by Malloy. And English immediately goes back to Michael Kessler in goal. For Malloy, Anthony Tereski, Brian Ford, Kevin Pastier will start on attack. Brandon Leon, Stephen Akrian, and Sean Colbert on defense. Michael Kessler in goal. For UDC, they'll start with Gerald Futrell, Turner Allison, and Garen Adolph. On defense with Nicholas Lund Murray, the senior out of New Westminster, British Columbia, in between the pipes. We'll see who Malloy brings out for their first line midfield. Mike Schur, one of those players. Looks like Jack Egan, Mike Schur, and Colin Kotarski, the starting midfield trio for Malloy, as it often is. Tereski will control behind the cage. He's the team's main feeder, 32 assists to lead the team. 
and often works at that X position. Here is Tereski. Feeds in front and an early finish for Malloy as Kevin Pasteer gets on the board with goal number 38 on the season. So call it Pasteer from Tereski. And that is a good early start for Malloy. Seniors being honored here today on Senior Day. Brody Nuzzi, Justin English, Mike Durkin, Mike Schurer, and Anthony Lucido. So back to the face-off X, and this time it is Mac Hidalgo who they're not going to actually give him the full credit on the face-off win, so they're going to say it is with Justin English, and he'll start two for two. Pasteur will control, takes it behind the cage. The junior out of Plainview JFK High School. Little two-man game behind the cage, Pasteur and Tereski. And Tereski will have it once again. Where he can work against a short stick, Josh Sakara. Tereski will send it up top for Katarski. Extra feed on to Schurer. And that ball pops free out to the near side. And out of play, it'll be a turnover on Malloy, and it'll be UDC ball. Immediately, they go back to Nicholas Lund-Murray in goal. Three-year starter for the Firebirds, the senior out of New Westminster Secondary. And here we get a look at the Firebirds. Alan Singleton up top, Edmund Taylor. Tyler Mace, now they go behind the cage here. Here's Edmund Taylor. Sends it back towards Mace, ball is loose on the turf. And this one is pushed forward by Stephen Akrian. Now it is scooped up. And well done by Pasteer getting in there, settling things down for Malloy. Mike Schurer hits the man coming out of the sub box. Going right at Cage. Shot is high off the mark from Jack Egan. And they're going to say UDC closest to it, so a turnover against Malloy in that sense. UDC gets the ball back. So they send it upfield for UDC. Looks like Jeffrey Vo, Alan Singleton, Eric Boko will be the attack starters, Edmund Taylor, Tyler Mace, Jacob Saunders in the midfield. As here is Eric Boko, the sophomore out of Silver Spring, Maryland, played at Springbrook Brook High School, where he owns the record for points in a season. Pass to the near side. Here is Singleton, senior out of Montreal, Quebec. Here's Jacob Saunders. Saunders stripped by Mike Durkin, balls loose on the turf. And an Akrian scoops it up for Malloy. Mike Durkin, the program record holder for cause turnovers, had a good one there. Dangerous pass through the middle, almost blown up. And again, it's Durkin getting in there for Malloy. Here comes Katarski. They hit the man arriving late, Brandon Leon, the long stick, his shot was altered on the way through and a save by Lund Murray. So here comes Singleton, down to Boko, short side shot, and it's a race for the loose ball. They're gonna say it stays with UDC here. Up, 
Bradley Dorsalis getting some run here in the midfield. Tyler Mace left side. Shot from the outside, and that is in. Alan Singleton lets the lefty shot fly and finds the back of the net. Ties this game up at one. Back to the face-off X, where Arthur Fuentevawat will get a chance to take a crack at Justin English. And English with a pinch and pop perfectly to himself, starting off well, the senior here on senior day. Getting it off to Travis Cooksey. And Cooksey finds Egan out of the sub box, a sophomore local product out of Rockville Center. Mike and Cantalupo will see some run on a mixed bags line here in Cantalupo. Joining Egan. And it looks like past year kind of inverting up top a little bit. Here comes Egan. Robert Lopez seeing some run on attack here. His pass back outside, briefly bobbled, but kept alive right now by Malloy. Pastier behind the cage to Tereski. Up top, Egan, the big righty step down shot. Missed it high and wide. 8 2 remaining in this first quarter, all tied at one. Shot from a tight angle, rings the crossbar, kicks all the way out to this near side. And UDC will have it. Closest to it, Garen Adolf, the junior out of Burtonsville, Maryland. Part of two division championships there. Little swim dodge here by Mace. Now gets it off to Cyrus Nash, the senior out of Syracuse. Played at Tully Senior and briefly at Syracuse before transferring to UDC. Nash far side for Saunders who has the goal. Behind the cage, nicely done on the takeaway by Brandon Leon. Knocking it out of the stick of Boko. Malloy getting their offensive package onto the field. Mike Scherer out of the box. So Scherer, Egan, and Katarski back as that midfield trio. Katarski up top, Scherer. We'll step into one big righty shot, save Lund Murray. And Lund Murray will send it out to the near side. Firebirds will control with Edmund Taylor, the senior out of Maple Valley, Washington, where he was three-time All-State and a high school All-America selection at Tahoma High School. 
His pass missed everyone will roll all the way across the midfield line. And it's going to go to Malloy here. Sure, hangs on to it. Now we'll send it to the near side for Katarski. Sure, the senior out of Farmingdale. Out of before the game as part of senior day. Lopez. Freshman out of Longwood High School. Castier. Works down the goal line extended. Now backs it up top. Here's Brian Ford, the freshman out of Northport. Kutowski wants a little screen set. Goes around, goes around Sakira, Sakira behind, behind the cage now here. Is Tereski sends, sends it up top. Lopez steps, steps into one, one rings it off the crossbar. And that one, that one kicks all the way out into the, into the UDC bench. bench where, it was where it was caught on, caught on a fly seemingly by, by head coach Roger Colbert. Colbert. Check that out. Check that out. It was the second Kevin Murphy actually who made that catch. First shot, shot, shot clock to work, to work with. From the long 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 that one off the crossbar. Katarsi gets, gets a step, step tries, tries to go down, down low, and definitely, definitely hit a body on the front, but I don't think it was, it was, was Lonnie Murray. Referee did, did not, did not signal, signal a reset, a reset on, the on the shot clock. Lopez, Lopez tries, tries to send it back, back, to, back to the near side. side. Doug had a Doug traffic, traffic there, there by Ford. Ford. Long, long, long cross field pass. pass. Received on the bounce, the bounce now. Tereski did get inside, 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 inside the shot forward. Saved by one by one Murray. Stays one, one, one and a half, half remaining, remaining first. In the first. And a nice, nice job pushing, pushing that, that one out field. Field. field by Jose, by Jose Leon. Leon, junior out of, junior out of Maryland. Maryland. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Vo, Vo. the first the ever Ball County, County player out of Northwood High School, High School, where he posted, where he posted over 100, 100 points as a senior. 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 Here's Bradley Dorsalis up top, top, top Mace. 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 Mace leading the ball against the, against the short stick. stick. They feed it across, across the zone. zone. Taylor's Taylor, Taylor, knocked Taylor, down. down. Ball is ball on the, is turf. the turf. Kicks out Kicks to the near side. side. And, and Dorsalis able to sweep it last on the Malloy foot. So it'll stay with the BC. Because they're down to 20 left on the shot clock. Dorsalis will have it. He wants it straight away. He wants to shoot. shoot. He runs he it down to 10. Here down comes Dorsalis. Dodges, Dodges left, left side. side Balls loose. loose. And, and it is and scooped, it is scooped up by Malloy. Katarski. Katarski. Playing both Playing sides both today. today. Comes up with the ground ball. ball. This one, this one may be turned, turned over. It's over. swept it's across midfield, and now here comes UDC. A chance, a chance in transition. They feed it, and an easy finish at the crease for Eric Boko. His first of the day, eighth of the season, and Boko gives the Firebirds the early 2-1 to one lead with a minute 44 left in the first quarter. So a difficult turnover there by Robert Lopez, and it led directly to a transition finish for Boko. Back at the face-off X, where English has been flat-out dominant. Matt Cadalgo back out there for UDC at the face-off X. 
Hidalgo winning 49% on the year. English winning 61%. And English is going to win another one for Malloy. See what kind of look we get from the Lions here. Lopez feeds it to Pasteur left side, and that is a finish. Second of the day for Kevin Pasteur. Robert Lopez on the assist. So that will tie this game up at 2 106 remaining in quarter number one. Justin English jumping early, so that'll be the first face-off win for UDC. As the Firebirds will now control with Jacob Saunders. Behind the cage, Boko. Now Jeffrey Vo. Vo sending it up top for Cyrus Nash. Nash near side, Saunders. Sweeping up high, Singleton. And this one is picked off by Mike Durkin, takes it out of the stick of Vo. Here comes Durkin all by himself, and a long stick goal for Malloy as Mike Durkin will tally in transition and make it 3-2 Lions, 19.7 seconds left in the first. So the senior out of Center Reach High School tallies his second goal of the year. And that gives Malloy the lead again at 3-2. So second violation against English. One more in this half, and it'll be a 30-second penalty. So English has got to be careful here. The Malloy bench is asking for some clarification on what happened there, but... Malloy with some good defense right now. UDC finally able to hang on. Shot from the outside from Allen Singleton. They're going to say it was a shot clock violation. Or check that end of the first quarter. So after one, it is 3-2 Lions. Second quarter upcoming on the way. After this on the ECC Network. At Life Planning Group, we make financial planning as convenient as a trip to the store. We're not tucked away in a sprawling city. We're right here in the heart of your community. With offices in both Nassau and Suffolk, our team of advisors are driven to strengthen our local community and the financial lives of all of our clients within it. Whether you are an individual investor, a family, or a business owner, we will walk beside you through all stages of your life's journey. 
Life Planning Group. Trusted, experienced, local. Novak Motors is your home for quality, one owner off lease vehicles. Stop by our 70,000 square foot indoor showroom located off of Route 110 in Farmingdale for well-maintained automobiles with high-class customer service. Or check out our inventory at NovakMotorsNY.com. Feel confident with Novak Motors' 58 multi-point inspection process, clean Carfax report, and low mileage. We offer affordable financing and trade-in options so you always get the best deal haggle-free and without those hidden fees. Novak Motors. We make car buying simple, straightforward, and enjoyable. Back on the ECC Network, Tom Birdie here with you. We go back to the face-off X start of the second quarter. Justin English winning it, but didn't pop it far enough out to his face-off man. Won't matter because Mike Durkin comes in from the other side and wins it on the ground ball. So face-off win for Malloy, and they can go back to work with a 3-2 lead. Anthony Tereski controlling up top. Now gets it to Katarski, junior out of Rocky Point. And along one more. Mike Schurer drives, spinning, shooting, and it's in. Mike Schurer, the senior, goal number 18 on the season, his first today. And it is now 4-2 Lions. So a fast start by Malloy, 35 seconds into the second quarter. Face-off is won by English. Over to Cooksey. And now the ball gets turned over right back to UDC, so. Firebirds catch a break there. Cyrus Nash up top. Edmund Taylor, near side Vo, behind the cage to Boko. Cyrus Nash on the run, gets a step on his man, now behind the cage, finds Vo left wing. Taylor, looking to bull his way towards the cage. Edmund Taylor with the shot, missing wide. Vo sends it up top. Taylor against the short stick Hilaire. And that looked, thought that was a shit pass, excuse me, but they're going to say it was a shot. So it'll stay with UDC behind the cage. Shifty feet from Allen Singleton. Kicks it out. Shot from distance by Boko. Catches the pipe. So fresh shot clock for the Firebirds. Boko, far side Singleton now behind the cage to Vo. Singleton will attack off the right wing. Cross field pass, shot is stopped. Good save from Kessler. Back in front, Vo, his shot stuffed by Kessler. Still there again. And finally on the third chance, UDC will tally. Jeffrey Vo gets his first of the game, eighth of the season. So Kessler making a couple of big saves in that sequence before finally Vo able to put it away. Form Tavewat back in 
against English at the face-off X. English popping it behind, but the ground ball is scooped up instead by the UDC wing player, Jose Leon. And now Lund Murray will push it towards midfield. Now they put the pressure on Lund Murray, sends it long, and nicely done finds fellow British Columbia native Tyler Mace, who hails out of Victoria, B.C., here is Mace from behind the cage. Sends it up high to Boko. Saunders. And now for Edmund Taylor, the senior. Good feet over the top. Here is Vo. Pulls it wide. Mike Durkin closest on the backup. Gets it back for Malloy. UDC led by head coach Roger Colbert in his third season. Former assistant coach. All-American at Georgetown. Then played pro in the MLL. So great get for them to have Roger Colbert. Lions with possession. Katarski. Dodges to his right. Now goes down for Tereski. Goal line extended. Up top, sure. Spins back. Connects with Robert Lopez. Lopez spinning. Back up high, Katarski. Far side, sure. 25 left to shoot. He feeds in to the crease for pass steer. That one's popped free. And now UDC able to come up with it. And wriggling out of traffic there is Garen Adolph. Look like Adolph and Gerald Futrell combining to help cause that turnover. Here is Boko. Eric Boko feeds Cyrus Nash. Jump shot is in the back of the net. What a finish from the Syracuse transfer, Cyrus Nash. Ties this game at four, 10-17 remaining in the second. Nash, a three-year starter. Now has a new career high with his 17th goal of the season. Boko will get the assist. Nash was all league in high school. 46 points, 101 ground balls as a senior. Again, initially wound up at Syracuse before transferring here to UDC. English thought he had pinched it to himself. Instead, Hidalgo stayed with it, but English comes up with it in the end, so a face-off win all the same for the senior. Cooksey, so important on that face-off wing, over 50 ground balls this season. Connects with Mike Schurer. Pass up high. And Cantalupo out there for Malloy getting some run in the midfield. Tereski. Tereski sweeps to the middle and his lefty shot is stopped by Lund Murray. Turner Allison will send that one across the field.
Behind the cage, UDC. Here's Jeffrey Vell. Up top to Boko. Here is Saunders. Worked behind for Edmund Taylor. Taylor tried the inside roll and was able to get through two Malloy players before finishing around the crease. 21st of the year for Edmund Taylor, called unassisted. And it is 5 4 Firebirds. Face off one by English. Cooksey will hold on, then finds Katarski. Dodging on the run, that shot is wide from Robert Lopez. Stepping inside, shot is upstairs and stopped again by Len Murray. So he's made some big saves that time on Lopez. Dorsalis over to the right side. Now they go behind the cage. Boko up top to Dorsalis. Shot from the outside, saved by Kessler, kept alive UDC. Dorsalis sends it back. Big shot winding up was Mace. And Kessler got that one as well. So two saves on the sequence. And here comes Malloy trailing 5-4. Durkin wants to let it fly. And that one is stopped. Definitely caught Lund Murray down low. Here's Dorsalis in transition, feeding the crease. Got through to Kessler, but he makes the save. And down behind the play is Lund Murray, who never quite recovered after taking that shot off the body down low. So one Murray down on the field at the moment, but looks like maybe he'll just need a minute here and then he'll be able to get back up. Hit coach Colbert out to check on his goalkeeper. And they help him to his feet. Lund Murray, the only goalkeeper listed on the roster, so. Hey, uh, 
Bradley Dorsalis has had to play two minutes and 56 seconds in goal this season, and it looks like he's going to have to put the goalkeeper equipment on now as well. So They were in a bit of a similar situation last year as well. Cyrus Nash and Zach Hart both not goalkeepers, and they both had to step in between the pipes last season. So it does happen every now and again. And Lund Murray is going to need a breather at the very least. So Dorsalis again getting ready to go in between the pipes. Sophomore out of Silver Spring, Maryland. So Malloy will have the ball after this injury timeout. So UDC will take a timeout here, and we'll take a timeout as well on the ECC network. Jake's Steakhouse is a proud sponsor of Malloy Athletics. Looking for great food in the area? Well, come on down to Jake's. Jake's features a special price-fixed menu Sunday through Thursday from 4 to 6 p.m., three courses for just $24.95. And Lions Land cardholders receive a special 10% discount. Jake's Steakhouse 2172 Hempstead Turnpike in East Meadow. Digital Graphic Imagery is a proud sponsor of Malloy College Athletics. For all of your printing and graphic design needs, visit www.dgic.us or call them at 516-277-9557. That's digital graphic imagery, home for all of your printing and design needs. What's the lowdown on Malloy College Athletics? Watch the Lions Lowdown. Hear from your favorite coaches and student athletes of the Malloy College Lions. Watch on MalloyLions.com or follow our YouTube channel, Malloy Lions. And a welcome back here on the ECC Network. Tom Verde here with you. 6.09 remaining in the second quarter. 5-4 is the lead for UDC and a goalkeeper change as Nicholas Lund Murray has had to check out of the game. So Bradley Dorsalis normally plays midfield for UDC in between the pipes at the moment as Lund Murray gets attended to on the bench. So Malloy gets it across midfield. Katarski controlling for the Lions. Up top, sure. Over to the far side. Lopez will sweep inside. Across for Katarski. Behind the cage to Tereski. Feeds inside, quick shot, and that one finds the back of the net. And it's an early hat trick for Kevin Pastier. His third of the day, junior out of Plainview, and we're all tied up five apiece. I 
goal scored by number seventy seven, Kevin Cashier. Assisted by number eight, Anthony Ferretti. Fifty one zero. So back at the face off X for and Tave Watt and English will go toe to toe. And English scoops this one up. Having a good start to the day at the face-off X is English. Right now, 9 of 12. Tarski will go to the far side. Backing it up behind the cage to Tereski. Back out in front for Katarski. Spinning to his right, and Katarski lets it go. Laser upstairs for Colin Katarski. And his first of the day makes it 6 5 Malloy. 4.47 left in the half. For a table lot and an English, this one's a good scrap for it. And for a table lot will win it for UDC. Turner Allison slinging this one forward, and it is off of the stick of Garen Adolph. Cooksey to Katarski. A little over four left in the second quarter. Pastier tried to fizz that one across the crease. Kept alive at the moment by Malloy. And we've got a slash and another one upcoming as well, flying into the crease. Three flags now down. Very interesting sequence there for Brian Ford. Ford took it looked like at least one slash in the rib. And I believe there's going to be two slashing fouls against Turner Allison. See what that third flag that flew in was. Looked like Jelani Guys is also heading off the field, so I'm not sure if that was related to this penalty sequence as well. Referees talking things over. So I believe it's going to stay no goal, and we'll see how the penalties shake out. So again, expecting two slashing calls to go against Turner Allison. And then we'll see what the third call might be. It's Roger Colbert getting some explanation on the far sideline. They're trying to figure out the manpower situation, I'm sure, as well.
So it looks like it's going to shake out. It's going to be a minute each of five on five play, it looks like here. And then Malloy will go up a man for a minute as Turner Allison got two penalties. So those stack up. So Malloy just going to play keep away for a minute. But. Here is Tereski, and an illegal screen against Malloy, so that'll give the ball back to UDC. Fifteen seconds left of five on five, and then it'll be a Malloy extra man opportunity for one minute. So now Malloy is up a man, six on five. We'll see how aggressive they are looking to force a turnover as UDC can kill off most of that man down situation with possession if they just hang on to it. Ball pops free, Brandon Leon. Out to the near side corner. And it's gonna stay with UDC after all that. So there's a few second, dif second differential between the shot clock and the penalty expiring. And it's gonna be a timeout taken by Roger Colbert. So we'll step aside here as well on the ECC network. Digital graphic imagery is a proud sponsor of Malloy College Athletics. For all of your printing and graphic design needs, visit www.dgic.us or call them at 516-277-9557. That's digital graphic imagery, home for all of your printing and design needs. What's the lowdown on Malloy College Athletics? Watch the Lions Lowdown. Hear from your favorite coaches and student athletes of the Malloy College Lions. Watch on MalloyLions.com or follow our YouTube channel, Malloy Lions. Mercy Medical Center are the proud medical providers of Malloy College Athletics. They are committed to serving the community with state-of-the-art compassionate health care. You can reach them at 516-62-MERCY or on the web at www.mercymedicalcenter.chsli.org. And back here on the ECC Network, 6-5, Malloy leads it. A minute and 50 seconds right now on the clock, 12 seconds left in the man down situation for UDC. And 10 seconds left on the shot clock, so we'll see if they try to get a quick shot off. They feed it up high. They've got to get the shot away. They do, it is wide, so a shot clock violation against UDC. But it will effectively end the man down situation. So back to even strength, six on six lacrosse. Malloy has it a minute 35 left in the second quarter. Hilaire will send it behind the cage for a forward. Up top, Mike Schur, now Katarski. And here.
here was Robert Lopez. Katarski. Sure. Back up top. Colin will go to his right. Nothing there. Instead, behind the cage, Tereski. Fifteen left to shoot for Malloy. Tereski, up high. Shot from distance by Katarski and a save from Dorsalis. Spinning ball is turned over right back for Malloy. Maybe a chance here. Ten seconds left in the second quarter. Tereski on the feed, and it's past Steer coming off the crease. He will put that away. Goal for Malloy. So they will take a two-goal lead, 7-5, as Pasteur picks up goal number four on the day. Eight point five seconds left, so probably not going to be enough for a chance here. And nobody comes up with the faceoff. That is how the first half will end. As now we've got a late flag flying here after. So we'll see what how the flag will shake out. But one team likely going to start with possession at the start of the next quarter. So. Halftime, 7-5 lead for Malloy. We'll step aside here on the ECC Network. Novak Motors is your home for quality, one owner off-lease vehicles. Stop by our 70,000 square foot indoor showroom located off of Route 110 in Farmingdale for well-maintained automobiles with high-class customer service. Or check out our inventory at NovakMotorsNY.com. Feel confident with Novak Motors' 58 multi-point inspection process, clean Carfax report, and low mileage. We offer affordable financing and trade-in options, so you always get the best deal haggle-free and without those hidden fees. Novak Motors, we make car buying simple, straightforward, and enjoyable. Jake's Steakhouse is a proud sponsor of Malloy Athletics. Looking for great food in the area? Well, come on down to Jake's. Jake's features a special price-fixed menu Sunday through Thursday from 4 to 6 p.m., three courses for just $24.95. And Lions Land cardholders receive a special 10% discount. Jake's Steakhouse, 2172 Hempstead Turnpike in East Meadow. Jake's Steakhouse is a proud sponsor of Malloy Athletics. Not only does Jake's have great food and drinks, but it features Sunday brunch too. Free hot cereal and coffee or tea with any entree, plus bottomless Bloody Marys and mimosas for only $10. Spend your next Sunday brunch at Jake's, 2172 Hempstead Turnpike in East Meadow. Casey's Kitchen and Cocktails is a proud sponsor of Malloy Athletics. Hurry down to Casey's because now through October, Casey's Rooftop Bar, Rooftop 32, is open for dining. Have a Lions Land card? Receive a 10% discount on your order. Casey's Kitchen and Cocktails, 23 North Park Avenue in Rockville Center. Jake's Steakhouse is a proud sponsor of Malloy Athletics. Jake's features a great deal for Malloy students. Head to Jake's with your Lions Land card from Monday through Saturday and get 10% off your order. Only at Jake's Steakhouse, 2172 Hempstead Turnpike in East Meadow. Casey's Kitchen and Cocktails is a proud sponsor of Malloy Athletics. Casey's is open seven days a week for dinner with plenty of salads, sandwiches, and entrees to choose from. Casey's is also open for lunch Thursday through Sunday and for Sunday brunch. On the go, takeout is available plus on-site and off-premise catering to suit all of your catering needs. 
And now through October, Casey's Rooftop Bar, Rooftop 32, is open for dining. Plus, you can receive a 10% discount with a Lions Land card. All at Casey's Kitchen and Cocktails, 23 North Park Avenue in Rockville Center. Digital Graphic Imagery is a proud sponsor of Malloy College Athletics. For all of your printing and graphic design needs, visit www.dgic.us or call them at 516-277-9557. That's Digital Graphic Imagery, home for all of your printing and design needs. What's the lowdown on Malloy College Athletics? Watch the Lions Lowdown. Hear from your favorite coaches and student athletes of the Malloy College Lions. Watch on MalloyLions.com or follow our YouTube channel, Malloy Lions. Mercy Medical Center are the proud medical providers of Malloy College Athletics. They are committed to serving the community with state-of-the-art compassionate health care. You can reach them at 516-62-MERCY or on the web at www.mercymedicalcenter.chsli.org. MalloyLions.com is your official online home for Malloy College Athletics. Game recaps, highlights, stats, exclusive, exclusive stories, stories and interviews, interviews, and much, much more. All on your online home for Malloy College Athletics, www.malloylions.com. Novak Motors is home to quality, one owner off lease vehicles. High class automobiles go through a 58 multi point inspection process, own a clean Carfax report, and have low mileage. Haggle free trade in and finance options.
options ensure you always get the best deal. Located in our 70,000 square foot indoor facility off of Route 110 in Farmingdale, or check out the inventory at NovakMotorsNY.com. Novak Motors, we make car buying simple, straightforward, and enjoyable. MalloyLions.com is your official broadcast home for Malloy College Athletics. Hear all the exciting action of every Malloy Lions game live right here on MalloyLions.com. Remember, your home for Malloy College Athletics is www.MalloyLions.com. Digital Graphic Imagery is proud to sponsor Malloy College Athletics. For all of your printing and graphic design needs, visit our website at www.dgic.us. Call us at 516-277-9557. DGI is located at 400 Post Avenue, Suite 105, Westbury, New York, right off of exit 32 of the Northern State Parkway. Contact Digital Graphic Imagery for all of your printing and design needs. And welcome back here on the ECC Network. Tom Verde here with you set for the start of the second half. Teams will switch sides once again, so it'll be Malloy going right to left across your screen here in the third quarter. And a late flag flew at the end of that first half, so that means Malloy will start with the ball in lieu of a face-off as they'll go man up here for one minute. See what the Lions can do. Man up here. Sure, going down low. Quick feed in front, and the shot from forward is stopped by Dorsalis. Dorsalis will make the pass out to Thurnell Outlaw. CUDC's already killed off half of this man up, and Outlaw will just heave this one upfield. Lines up in the stick of Kessler. About 15 left on the man up situation. So man up situation about to expire for Malloy as we're now even six on six. And Malloy with too many players on the field there, so that's an easy turnover call. UDC will work with Allen Singleton. Far side now. Edmund Taylor. Cyrus Nash up top. Here's Jacob Saunders. Saunders gets a step righty shot. And that one comes all the way out to midfield on the kick. Scooped up by Malloy. Tereski connects with Mike Schur. Tereski picked up by Cyrus Nash, who's playing both sides right now as a short stick midi. Feet in front for a wide open forward, and there is the finish. So good setup, Tereski to forward. And Malloy will go up 8-5, 12.46 left in the third. 16th of the year for Brian Ford. His first today, Tereski's second assist of the afternoon. So this time English will take the face off against Tyler Mace who picked up the long stick for it 
And here comes English. He's going to go right to the goal. His shot is wide. And Malloy closest to it with forward on the backup. And now Mace is down on the field. He was in hot pursuit of English and seems to have gone down. So Mace right now is down and being tended to by the training staff. Seems to be working on that left leg. So with an injury on the field, we'll step aside as well on the ECC network. Casey's Kitchen Cocktails is a proud sponsor of Malloy Athletics. Looking for food around campus? Casey's is open seven days a week for dinner with plenty of salads, sandwiches, and entrees to choose from. Casey's is also open for lunch Thursday through Sunday and for Sunday brunch. On the go? Takeout is available, plus on-site and off-premise catering to suit all your catering needs. All at Casey's Kitchen and Cocktails, 23 North Park Avenue in Rockville Center. MalloyLion.com is your official broadcast home for Malloy College Athletics. Hear all the exciting action of every Malloy Lions game live right here on MalloyLions.com. Remember... Your home for Malloy College Athletics is www.malloylions.com. And we're back here on the ECC Network, so Tyler Mace being helped off the field, hobbling off a little bit under his own power, but appears to be a left leg issue for him. So put a fresh 80 on the shot clock. And Malloy will start with the ball. Tereski working around the screen from Katarski. Feeds in front and a good finish out in front by Mike Schurer. So the second of the day for the senior out of Farmingdale. As Tereski picks up his third assist of the day. So the lead goes to 9-5 Malloy, 12-24 remaining in the third quarter. And it is English going against Mac Hidalgo. Mike Durkin came up with it, but he is now stripped. Hidalgo's still battling for it. And eventually UDC comes up with it. So Josh Shakira, short stick D midi and wingman on those faceoffs, came up with it. Now he is stripped. Combination of Cooksey, Durkin all in there battling for it. And now Malloy comes away with it. Michael Kessler will have it in goal. Good toss across midfield. And a chance here for Malloy. Another long stick shot coming, this time from Sean Colbert. And that one is off the mark. Already got one long stick goal earlier today from Mike Durkin. Tarski will hang on to this one as now he goes to Cooksey. He's going to stay out there, maybe get some run here. We'll see. Four goals, four assists on the season for Cooksey, and that is going to be the case. So, Sure, Cooksey and Katarski. Uh, now Cooksey will head off. Robert Lopez will come on. Twenty left to shoot. Lopez down the left side. We'll go behind for Tereski. Oh, 
Back to Tereski, tries it all the way across the field to Robert Lopez, and that was going to be a tough pass to complete, goes out of play, and UDC back on it. Pass out towards the midfield. Brought across the line by Edmund Taylor. Back behind for Boko. And now to Cyrus Nash. Here comes Jeffrey Vo. Vo to goal line extended. Back behind Taylor. Now Boko. Nash on the run, tried to go near post. That one is stopped by Kessler. And a good job regaining possession. Alan Singleton battling in there. Here's Boko. Across to Singleton. Good fake, steps in, lefty shot. Just flashed wide of the post. Vo on the backup. Here comes the pressure, Vo spins out of it. Goes left wing for the shot down low. And that one missed wide and they're gonna say Malloy closest to it. Nobody backing up for UDC. So that one gets turned over. And they go to Kessler to start this one. Long pass ahead. And Hilaire just took his eye off it at the last moment. Ball winds up running out of play, so tough one for Hilaire. Adolph across the line. Here is Nash. Vo will work with it at X against the short stick. Nash now straight away. Pumps the pass. Here's Boko. Down low to Singleton. Nash. Face dodge, got some separation, went to Taylor, his shot wide. 33 left on the shot clock. Boko's shot off the target. Kept alive by Singleton. Singleton spinning back, ran out of room, and now a flag will fly. Malloy Bench not happy but it is gonna be against you, Malloy here. So they're gonna get Mike Durkin for one minute unnecessary roughness. That'll give UDC a chance, man up, I believe, for the first time today. I'll check that second of the day. Malloy 0 for 3, UDC 0 for 1.
Currently a stoppage on the field waiting to start the UDC man-up situation. 8.02 left in the third, 9-5 Malloy. So here we go, man up situation for the Firebirds. Like to get back in it with a goal here. Nash down the goal line extended. Boko. Near side, Singleton. Straight away for Mace, steps into one, and that shot is stopped down low from Kessler. Kessler out to the far side for Colbert. Gets it across the line. 20 left on the shot, uh, excuse me, on the man down situation for Malloy. Kotarski, here comes the double. He passes out of it for Cooksey. So all even again, six on six, 35 left on the shot clock for Malloy. Flag will fly again. Cooksey goes back out to Resky. Believe it'll be unnecessary roughness against UDC. Five on the shot clock for Malloy. They throw it towards Cage. It misses the target. And now Malloy will have a chance to go man up. 6.20 remaining in the third. So they're going to get two calls here against UDC. Looks like Turner Allison and Alan Singleton both going to head off here. So Allison, one minute unnecessary roughness, and Singleton, a one minute slash. So it'll be six on four here for Malloy for one minute. Pass up high to Lopez. Pass steer down low. Now gets it back. Pass steer. Down low to goal line extended. Sure misses wide on the shot. 37 seconds remaining. Lloyd Bench telling Kevin Pass steer to let that one fly next time. This pass knocked down and it was a chance for UDC to get a clear. Instead, Malloy able to keep it alive. 20 seconds remaining in the man up. Sure, down low to pass. Steer rang the pipe on the near side. 14 left in the man up. Seven left to sh shoot on the man up. Down low, three seconds. And it is turned over. Ball is scooped up by UDC. Adolph works his way out of traffic. Adolph up for Josh Shakira. Over to Cyrus Nash. Mace. Here is Vo. Vo feeds back to the near side, and they let it fly. Goal for UDC, Allen Singleton. 
on the assist from Jeffrey Vo. So Singleton second of the game. Vo picks up his second point of the game, one assist to go along with a goal earlier. The Firebirds cut it to 9-6, 4.47 left in the third. And they'll send Mace out there with the long stick to compete for the faceoff against English. And English able to win this one clean before handing off to Cooksey. Cooksey down to goal line extended. Here is Katarski. He's got the matchup against the short stick, Giovanni Barahona. Katarski, the feet in front to forward. And he put it in on the dive. We'll see if the referees allow it. Again, the dive is back in for this season as long as you dive away from the goal. See how they're going to call that one. So it's going to be a 30-second technical push on UDC. No goal on the play. Pass in front, the shot from Pastier off the mark. Ten seconds left, man up. Pass down low, Pastier to Ford in the middle and he puts it away. So the goal from Ford. Pastier will get the assist. I believe it came just after the man up expired. Still was basically an effective man up though as the UDC player never had a chance to get back into the play. Ford. Assisted by number 77, Kevin Pastier. 10-6 Malloy, 3.26 remaining in the third. And the faceoff is won by Giovanni Barahona. Here Cyrus Nash gets turned over. Durkin again wants to tee it up with the long stick, and he does. Two goals for Mike Durkin. It's 
So Durkin has had a couple opportunities to let it fly today, and he's got two goals, which doubles his season tally coming into today. Four goals scored by number 19, Mike Durkin. Eleven six, Barahona wins another faceoff. And Durkin coming up from behind with a big check. And a flag will fly here. And it's gonna go against Durkin, I believe. So the ball just gets turned over here to UDC. Going right to the cage, UDC, Jacob Saunders, but couldn't get it past Kessler at the post. And here comes Durkin again. The senior on senior day already with two. Hilaire across to Katarski, 225 remaining in the third quarter. 60 on the shot clock. Pass in front, and a behind-the-back goal for Pastier. Heck of a finish for Kevin Pastier. As he's having himself a day. Now with five goals and an assist on the day for Kevin Pastier. As Malloy starting to double up UDC here, 12-6. 159 left in the third. Four goals scored by number 77, Kevin Passier. Assisted by number eight, Anthony Kretzky. Barahona wins another faceoff, goes left side. They'll settle it down. The pass to the far side for Singleton, and that is in. Allen Singleton with a hat trick now. Tyler Mace will get the assist. As Barahona is doing a nice job on the faceoff. Sophomore in his first season transfer from Ohio Valley. Last year at Ohio Valley, he took 218 faceoffs, so. Goes down to 12-7, and that'll be Barahona against English. And English gets in there with the win. Double team arrives. Tereski in trouble here. Somehow gets out of it. And now it's Durkin. Again, Durkin gets a lot of room. He'll feed the crease, and that one is in. Beautifully set up. Durkin to Cooksey for the goal for Malloy. So Cooksey gets his fifth goal of the year, the junior out of Wanta. Mike 
13-7 Malloy, 124 left in the third. And they get Barahona for the illegal procedure. So Mike Schur on it, pressured by Jose Leon. Right side, shot coming. And off the target for Jack Egan on the bouncer. Under a minute remaining here in the third. Pass up high. About a three or four second differential between the shot clock and game clock here. Egan to pass steer. Behind the cage, Tereski is stripped. And UDC scoops it up, Gerald Fatrell. Eight seconds left in the third as their long cross field pass missed everybody. 7.2 left for Malloy. See if they try to heave one towards the goal for a quick one. Three seconds, they put it towards the middle. Ford with the shot, never got through. Good defense by Nikolai McCarthy. And that's how the third will end. 13-7 Malloy, one quarter left to play here on the ECC Network. At Life Planning Group, we make financial planning as convenient as a trip to the store. We're not tucked away in a sprawling city. We're right here in the heart of your community. With offices in both Nassau and Suffolk, our team of advisors are driven to strengthen our local community and the financial lives of all of our clients within it. Whether you are an individual investor, a family, or a business owner, we will walk beside you through all stages of your life's journey. Life Planning Group, trusted, experienced, local. Jake's Steakhouse is a proud sponsor of Malloy Athletics. Come down to Jake's for happy hour every Monday through Friday from 3 to 7 p.m. and Sundays from 12 to 7 p.m. $4 mixed drinks, $5 select house wines by the glass, $4 select domestic beer, and $5 select craft beers. Looking for some delicious food? Jake's Sunset Special features a price-fixed menu Sunday through Thursday from 4 to 6 p.m. Three courses for just $24.95. Friday night at Jake's is Prime Rib Night, a delicious 26-ounce prime rib with popover, mashed potatoes, and dessert, all for just $49. Can't get enough? Well, Jake's does brunch, too. Sunday mornings receive free hot cereal and coffee or tea with any entree, plus bottomless Bloody Marys and mimosas for $10. And don't forget, you get 10% off at Jake's Monday through Saturday with a Lion's Land card. Jake's Steakhouse, 2172 Hempstead Turnpike in East Meadow. And a welcome back here on the ECC Network. One quarter to play, 13-7 is the lead for Malloy in their final game of the season here against UDC. Thanks for making us a part of your Saturday afternoon. Teams will switch sides for the final time as well. So Malloy now going left to right in the home whites. UDC will go right to left as Mike Durkin on the face-off wing, gathers that one up for Malloy. Now Tereski on it. Up top, Katarski, now sure. Robert Lopez, fresh out of the sub box. Here's Katarski. Back behind the cage. And we're going to have a flag fly here as Tereski was clipped down low. And something's going to go against UDC. So 
So a one minute slash against Gerald Fittrell, the sophomore out of Montclair, New Jersey. So another man up chance here for Malloy. And stepping into that one is Kotarski. Puts that one away. Kotarski from Schurer. And Collins second of the day will make it 14-7 Malloy. English jumping early on the faceoff, and so UDC will have it. Mac Hidalgo airmails the pass. So Colbert will start with it for Malloy. Kessler over to the near side. Brody Nuzzi getting some action here, the senior on senior day. Cooksey sending it forward. Anthony Lacido getting some run out there as well, the senior from Franklin Square. Here comes Egan. And Egan is stripped, illegal procedure against Malloy. So great check from Gerald Fittrell. Here is Fatrell. Gets across midfield. And Akrian back in his own end, having some trouble corralling it, finally comes up with it and dishes it off to his goalkeeper, Kessler. Big shot from the outside from Katarski missing high. Ground ball is scooped up by UDC. Pushing the tempo is Sakira. Played a little over three minutes here in this fourth quarter. Mace with the pass to Vo, his shot wide. We see Turner Allison, who has been playing with a long stick for the game thus far, now getting some run in midfield. Here he is, Turner Allison. 
on the season. Nine goals and an assist. Shot up high for Nash. That one just over the top. 21 left on the shot clock. Still start with Taylor behind the cage. Edmund Taylor. Out to Turner Allison. 10 left to shoot. Allison down to five. Near side, they just have to take a shot from the outside, stopped by Kessler. Knows he had the ground ball, now it's back with UDC. And it looks like we are going to have a push without possession against Malloy, so that's gonna give it back to UDC. Up top, Nash, off the face dodge, near side, Vo. Vo feeds into the middle and could not be corralled there by Turner Allison. This one is turned over in the middle of the field. Vo coming right down the middle, shoots, save, Kessler. Rebound comes out and it is stripped from behind. So nicely done by Malloy. Kessler coming up big to deny Vo. Shot on the run is kicked out by Dorsalis. And down behind the play is one of the UDC players, Garen Adolph. So with the player down on the field, we'll step aside here on the ECC Network. Mercy Medical Center are the proud medical providers of Malloy College Athletics. They are committed to serving the community with state-of-the-art compassionate health care. You can reach them at 516-62-MERCY or on the web at www.mercymedicalcenter.chsli.org. MalloyLions.com is your official online home for Malloy College Athletics. Game recaps, highlights, stats, exclusive, exclusive stories and interviews, and much, much more. All on your online home for Malloy College Athletics, www.malloylions.com. Novak Motors is home to quality, one-owner off-lease vehicles. High-class automobiles go through a 58 multi-point inspection process, own a clean Carfax report, and have low mileage. Haggle-free trade-in and finance options ensure you always get the best deal. Located in our 70,000 square foot indoor facility off of Route 110 in Farmingdale, or check out the inventory at NovakMotorsNY.com. Novak Motors, we make car buying simple, straightforward, and enjoyable. Back on the ECC network. UDC will have the ball here, 9.30, remaining in the fourth. They trail at 14.7. Here's Vo. Vo handing it off on the far side. Behind the cage here is Singleton. Singleton on the inside roll, centering pass. Hit Lucido. Still there for UDC, Nash. Taylor on the spin. Still there, Edmund Taylor. Pass up high, picked off by Brody Nuzzi. Gets it to Kessler who's in trouble and Kessler turns it over right to Edmund Taylor for the open net goal. 
So Edmund Taylor with the goal, his second of the day. And 22nd on the season. Fourteen eight now the score, eight twenty eight left in the fourth. So we go back to the face off X for Lacido and for Ntevoat. Or check that, Barahona is the face-off man for UDC. So Barahona and Lacido. And Durkin wins it on the ground ball. Ball is stripped. Good job by Barahona. But Durkin able to recover. Coming in on the run is Katarski, and he will get the finish. So make it a hat trick for Colin Katarski. For Ntevwat with the face off out towards the far side. And English wins it. UDC never had possession. Here comes English right to the net and he puts it away. Justin English off the face off. And he picks up his third goal of the year. Mac Hidalgo and Lacido in for this face-off. Face-off is won by Malloy. Cooksey with the ground ball. Cooksey on the run! Shoots and scores. Second of the day for Travis Cooksey after he got the ground ball on the faceoff. Seventeen to eight Malloy, seven ten left in the fourth. English and Hidalgo, and English comes up with this one. UDC causes a turnover. Here is Singleton. 
up high. Eric Boko, the sophomore. Near side to Vo. Behind the cage, Daniel Washington. And the freshman gets turned over. There comes Mike Schur pulling his way past Boko. Here is Lucido, the shot. And it missed the target on the bouncer. Late flag flies. This one is going to go against Gerald Fittrell. One minute unnecessary roughness. Six sixteen left in the fourth. One minute man up situation for Malloy. Egan to the near side to Resky. Up high, Egan steps into it and puts the finish. Goal number one on the day, 17 on the season for Jack Egan. James O'Grady, the freshman, will come in for Malloy. All County at Floral Park. Cooksey on the ground ball, wins the face off for Malloy. Connects with Mike Durkin. They set up Durkin for the shot. Big bouncer missing wide. And Durkin's stick snaps in half there. Here's Andrew Chu getting some run for Malloy. Chu dodging against Barahona, the short stick. Chu from the left wing puts it past Orsulis. So the goal for Andrew Chu, his second of the year. Under five remaining now, 19 to eight, the lead for Malloy. And Lucido jumping early.
So UDC will have it on offense here. Behind the cage on the dodge, Singleton. Singleton by himself, shot is wide and nobody backing up, so Malloy closest to it. Nick Pescucci getting it across the line. Alan Sorry. Sorry, we'll send it back behind the cage. Sorry. Gets a step on the screen. Pushed away, now out to English. Ten left to shoot now. Here's Lacido. Lost his footing. Still there. Seven seconds to shoot it. Behind the cage with five. He's got to put one on target. And it hits the outside netting. So shot clock violation against Malloy. And UDC has it on the restart. Good job pushing it forward by Karen Adolph. Singleton on the far side, under three minutes to play. Singleton lets it rip the save by O'Grady. And then a crease violation, I believe, is going to be called here against UDC. Or check that. It's going to go against Malloy. They're going to say a push in the back without possession. That's what caused him to step in the crease. So Singleton will keep it on the far side. Fresh shot clock. Up top, Turner Allison. The junior out of Point Claire, Quebec. Feeds it right side. Big shot off the crossbar. Kicks out to Nash. Great feed across. And that is a finish for Singleton. So great look by Cyrus Nash on the setup. Connecting with Singleton. And Singleton's got four goals now on the day. Rang the crossbar, came back around, and Nash with a beautiful setup across the Malloy defense. And here the flag will fly, a 30 second technical push coming against Malloy. So we're gonna call this one a slash instead against Lacido. Chance for UDC man up here, 205 left right. in the game. Big shot from the outside, and that is in another goal. Number five on the day for Alan Singleton. Yeah. 
Score now 19-10 with two minutes remaining after the man-up goal from Singleton. Singleton's got five goals on 12 shots today. Lacido wins this one. Goes across the Durkin here. Minute 43 left in the game. Chu over to the far side. Sorry, getting stripped. Malloy gets it back though. Chu across the zone. Here is Tereski. Lucido. Good spin inside. Still with it, Lucido. And the ball is loose. UDC now back on it with Garen Adolph. Pushes the tempo, the junior out of Burtonsville, Maryland. And a timeout taken by UDC, 46.8 seconds remaining. I'll take a timeout as well. Digital Graphic Imagery is proud to sponsor Malloy College Athletics. For all of your printing and graphic design needs, visit our website at www.dgic.us. Call us at 516-516. 277-9557. DGI is located at 400 Post Avenue, Suite 105, Westbury, New York, right off of exit 32 of the Northern State Parkway. Contact Digital Graphic Imagery for all of your printing and design needs. Jake's Steakhouse is a proud sponsor of Malloy Athletics. Come down to Jake's Monday through Friday from 3 to 7 p.m. and Sundays from 12 to 7 p.m. for happy hour. $4 mixed drinks, $5 select house wines by the glass, $4 select domestic beer, and $5 select craft beers. Plus, Lions Land card owners will receive a special 10% discount. Spend your next happy hour with Jake's, 2172 Hempstead Turnpike in East Meadow. Back here on the ECC Network, 45 seconds left to play. UDC, Nash going across. Now to Mesa on the near side. Shot clock no longer a factor. Behind the net, Singleton already with five goals on the day. And another timeout going to be taken here by UDC. Digital graphic imagery is proud to sponsor Malloy College Athletics. For all of your printing and graphic design needs, visit our website at www.dgic.us. At Life Planning Group, we make financial planning as convenient as a trip to the store. We're not tucked away in a sprawling city. We're right here in the heart of your community. With offices in both Nassau and Suffolk, our team of advisors are driven to strengthen our local community and the financial lives of all of our clients within it. Whether you are an individual investor, a family, or a business owner, we will walk beside you through all stages of your life's journey. Life Planning Group. Trusted. Experienced. Local. And a welcome back here on the ECC Network. 20.3 seconds remaining, fourth quarter. UDC on the ball. Little hidden ball trick attempt by UDC, down to 10. Singleton, spinning. Tries to get the pass away, air mails it. It's going to be a Malloy ball with 3.6 on the clock. And that will essentially end this one. 
as this one heaved forward and Malloy will take the victory in their final game of the season. So a 19 to 10 victory for the Lions. We'll come back with the post game show to break it all down. Again, that's coming up next here on MalloyLions.com. Malloy fans, stay tuned for the Malloy Lions postgame show presented by Holiday Inn Express, Rockville Center, Lindbrook. It's the Malloy Lions postgame show presented by Holiday Inn Express, Rockville Center, Lindbrook, and it starts right now. <laughs> And welcome inside the post-game show brought to you by Holiday Inn Express, Rockville Center, Lindbrook. Tom Verde here with you set to break it all down, the final game of the season for Malloy. And they pick up the 19-10 victory over UDC. It was a good day for the Lions. They controlled in many facets of the game. Face-offs, they won 21 of 31 on the day. Forced 13 caused turnovers compared to just 6 for UDC. Man up, 2 for 7 for Malloy, 1 for 4 on the day for the Firebirds, as the Lions had the 42 to 36 advantage in shots, 40 to 28 in ground balls. Leading the way for Malloy, it was a good day from Kevin Pastier. Five goals, one assist, as he led Malloy in both goals and points on the day. Anthony Tereski, five helpers for five points. Mike Schurer, two goals, two assists. Mike Durkin, the senior honored on senior day, two goals and a helper for three points, three goals for Katarski, two each for Cooksey and Ford, and one each for Egan English and Chu with Lopez getting an assist as well. Good day for Justin English at the faceoff X as well, 18 of 25, made 13 ground balls on the day as well. And in goal, a split between Kessler and O'Grady. Ten saves for Kessler, one for O'Grady. UDC led on the day by five goals from Singleton. Two points apiece for Vo, Taylor, Nash, Mace, and Boko. So for the season, Malloy will finish at 7-8, and eight, a 3-3 three and three mark in conference play and finish just outside of the ECC postseason. So again, for one last time, we'd like to honor the seniors honored today on Senior Day, Brody Nuzzi, Justin English, Mike Durkin, Mike Schurer, and Anthony Lucido. And for everyone involved here in Rockville Center, thanks so much for tuning in all season long, and we'll see you next season. I'm Tom Verde. Thanks again for joining us, and enjoy the rest of your Saturday afternoon.